Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm back again to hear the review of the final, the season finale, or the series finale, should I say, of One Division. And let's we picked up where the last episode left off. Of course, Wanda finds out that she's a witch, and um, she has a she has a battle with Agatha, and um. It, Everything that we've seen so far is cultivating in this in this episode. And okay, let me just say for starters, uh, the whole the whole um, uh, vision and vision thing uh, was very strange. And to be honest, it was probably one of the most boring things of the episode. I didn't really care all that much about it. The Wanda Agnes the fight was way more entertaining than the Vision fight, and it was just like, oh, the the, uh, I mean, they both aren't re the real Vision, and then at the end it was just like, stop, I'm not real, let me show you, and then uh, he just shows him all of the stuff that's happened to him, how he was created, uh, the Mind Stone being ripped out of him, and he just soars off in the air and just disappears somewhere, so are we going to see that vision again, or is he through with, or because he, I mean, all we got was, I am Vision, and then he just up and flies away, so... I don't know what's going to happen to him. I don't know if we're going to see him again. If we are, it's probably going to be maybe with X-Men or something like that. But the whole, um, but you know, the the really one minor thing of this episode that wasn't really needed, in my opinion, was the whole Ralph, Monica... Monica thing. I think they just had that there just to fill time and it didn't really do anything and which still has me confused. Like is Ralph Quicksilver or what? I don't understand what's going on. We all know it was a ploy by Agatha but still I need answers to this. If he's not the real Quicksilver are we going to get the real Quicksilver again? Because it doesn't make sense to me. I mean, there were so many... There's still still so many unanswered questions from this um, series that a lot of fans want answered. I want to know if we're going to get Quicksilver. Because the whole Ralph Boner thing, I think they just do that for humor. Just to throw, fan, just to throw some fans off to be like, Whoa, oh my god, Quicksilver is coming back. And then just to throw another um, ploy in there just to be like, oh, wait, no, he's not. Uh, but, yeah, we need to get answers to that. As far as the whole witch, the witch thing, it was, uh, it. I did get a joy out of watching Wanda and Agatha go back and forth. And she got these old witch hands from... Um, fighting, um, fighting Agnetha and at first I thought, hmm, well, I guess she's absorbing her power or taking her power, but it turns out she turns out, but it turns out she is the real Scarlet Witch and the whole, uh, the whole I'm not, uh, the whole I'm not Scarlet Witch, I don't know how to cast spells, but yet in the episode, that's exactly what she does. So she doesn't know what she's talking about, but all of a sudden she could cast spells like she's freaking Harry Potter. I mean, does that make sense to anyone else? No. I mean, they didn't explain it. Uh, I mean, at least not all that well. Or I don't think they did at all, but it doesn't matter. But, um, and then what the, the cop, I mean, the guy from S.W.O.R.D., um, who tries to stop Wanda, and, uh, the only really, the only, like, dickish thing he, at first I thought, wow, this guy is sort of an asshole, 
But come to think of it, the only really dickish thing he did was try to kill Wong's kids. But, I mean, now that I think about it, um, he actually did care about the safety of others. And he did want to stop Wanda for what he was doing, what she was doing, which was selfishly bringing Vision back to life and holding a, a whole town of people hostage in a TV show. And she claims she didn't know how she did it, but yet in this, in the series finale, she's just um, magically waving her hands around like she's some sort of, like she's freaking, like I said, freaking Harry Potter. So that doesn't make any sense. So, um, yeah, and then we got, we barely got Monica in the episode. I figured we see more of her because, in my opinion, she's one of the best things of the series. But, I mean, yeah, it was, and, and of course, after defeating one, after Wanda defeats Agatha, she, she becomes a true, the true witch. And she lets down the force field or whatever to let all the people out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let all the people out. And she, um, and everything's back to normal. And she turns Agnetha back into the nosy neighbor. But, at, which, in my opinion, I was confused about. I was like, okay, well, if she comes... If she needs her help again, she'll just come back and turn her back to her regular self. But the force field isn't up to trap her inside the area, to trap her inside the town. So what makes you think that she won't come back? Um, that didn't make sense to me. I was confused about it, and I was just like, wait, but the force field's down, so... Yeah, I was confused about that one. And the uh, um and of course we end with Wanda saying goodbye to Wanda saying goodbye to her kids and having an emotional moment with Vision. And then at the end the crowd the the town hates her for putting her for putting them through all that hell, which she rightly deserves in my opinion. Because that was pretty dickish and selfish of her to do. Uh, and she did it for her own personal gain, for her own personal reasons. Just because she didn't want to lose someone close to her. And I feel, um, I do feel agony, uh, no pun intended, sympathy. I do feel sympathy for her. But she did not do it in the right way. I mean, she almost... Melee meant on Monica. I mean, Monica offered her help, her to be there as a friend for her, and she just brushed her off, like what three times. But yeah, um, and then oh, of course at the end, the end credit scenes, Monica runs into the scroll and says that we have a friend that wants to speak with you, which can either lead into two things, um. Captain Marvel 2 or Secret Invasion or it could lead it to that Nick Fury TV series that we're going to get. I don't know when we're going to get that, uh, but it could, but it could lead into one of those three things. And I, uh, I was looking to get more, uh, out of her from the season finale, but they didn't really use, utilize her that well, but hopefully we get to see more of her. And whatever comes next. And the other post credit scene, we see Scarlet flipping through a book in the middle of nowhere in a cabin, like in the woods, living like a hermit. Uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, excuse me. And she, um, and she's flipping through her magic evil book which book whatever it's called the i think it's called the death hold i believe and her kids scream out to her so is she gonna come back 
Um, we're not having another season, so is she coming back for X Men or? Yeah, I don't get it. But yeah, this was an okay. Um, the the series finale was okay. There's some things that they could have done better. A lot of it, some stuff was unnecessary, like the whole Ralph Bonner and Monica thing. They just did that to fill time. And let's see, the whole Vision fight, that was useless. Um, I just call him Paint Vision because he just looks like a, a block of... Uh, he just looks like a block of paint. Um, but yeah, it, I mean, this wasn't really... Uh, I mean, it was okay. Maybe I'll go back and... We watched the series over to pay more attention to the Easter eggs because the one I didn't get that I didn't realize until I watched, um, uh, I think his name's Jeremy, Jeremy, I believe, uh, movie reviewer, uh, movie and TV show reviewer, and he was talking about the, um, the, the shark and the person on the island by him, him herself and the shark was Agnetha and the person on the island was Scarlet. So yeah, I need to go back and pay attention and pick out and piece and pay attention to stuff like that. But yeah, I mean, this is serious when the was okay. Hopefully it'll lead into Doctor, uh, I know it's going to lead to Doctor Strange, the multiverse, and hopefully it will lead to X-Men coming into the MCU. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the series for now. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, man. I'll see you guys in the next video.